Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Contently Living. It's Carlessa here, and I am so glad that you all have joined me today for this complete closet, deep clean makeover. And when I say that this is long overdue, that is definitely an understatement. I'm really trying to straighten out every neglected spot in my home. And this was probably the worst out of the whole house because this is not a common area. You know, nobody sees it. Just my husband and I use it. A majority of our clothes are in our drawers, so we really don't go in the closet that often. So with that said, I just never really made it a priority to deep clean and organize until today. And I also never did it because I just could not see past the size. You know, I've always felt like this was such a tiny closet and I had no vision of it ever being functional at all until a few days ago. I was inspired by my cousin who has a small closet too and she revamped it to make it work for her. So the light bulb kind of went off and I started planning and researching and trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do and what I needed to buy to make the most of this space. And I must say, I am really happy the way that it came out. I mean, now it is like one of my favorite parts of our room now, you know, is the closet because it's clean and organized and you go in there and you can find everything very easily. But um, I hope that this will inspire you guys to do the same thing, to go in and get those neglected spots in your home cleaned up and fixed up as well. Guys, it is a miracle that these closet racks were still hanging up because once I took everything off, I saw how weak they were. I mean, half the screws were hanging out of the wall. It was just a mess. So I'm glad I was able to get those things out and throw them away because they were not working at all. As I'm going through this closet and decluttering and organizing, it just made me think of all the negative thoughts that I've had towards this space, really, and just the thoughts of how it's too small, it's not functional, it's not enough space for two people, I can't buy more shoes because I don't have anywhere to put them even though I really don't need any more. But I think that's why I really avoided this closet for so long. And slowly and sadly, I think that it kind of made me feel this way about every part of my home. You know, I was telling myself, the kitchen is too small, the baths are not big enough, there's not enough room for my family to grow. And I really began to harbor these thoughts and to just let them grow into pure ungratefulness and a mindset of ingratitude towards my home. When this house has really been the biggest blessing for us, you know, it has really been something that we can afford and we have a plan as to what we're gonna do. And for me to take something that is a blessing and completely turn it around into something that I really didn't know if I wanted anymore, you know, it really made me rethink all of the thoughts that I've been having lately and just try and figure out okay what is going on in my mind and take a step back and think about how important it is to have gratitude and be thankful for everything that I have even something as simple as a closet you know because if I did not change my mind about how I thought about this closet I probably would have never really deep cleaned it and revamped it to make it more functional for us and to really redecorate and organize it, you know? So with all of that said, I am gonna do my best to get this house to reach its full potential, you know, and I wanted to share these things with you guys, you know, because I know that I'm not the only one who struggles with being dissatisfied with what I have and in gratitude, you know, but if we can take what we have in our hands and make the most out of it to really learn to live contently, you know, then we can have anything and, you know, and be okay and be happy. And so um, I just want to encourage all of you guys like to take a second look at what you have and just try and make the most out of it. And yes, this is not our forever home. 
our plan is to live in this for a couple years buy something else and then this will just become rental property but for now we're going to make the most out of it and share and comment down below as to what you guys have struggled with as far as ingratitude i would love to hear from you guys you know we are in this together and i hope that we can kind of help uplift each other and strengthen each other So now I'm just going through all of our clothes and sorting things out that I took out of the closet. And I'm gonna show you, this is the closet organizer that I bought from Lowe's. I think I paid like $100. And while I was painting and letting things dry, Alex was putting this together for me. So now it is just ready to install. And what a difference that paint color made. You know, I use the ultra white and it just really kind of brightened up this closet. You know, it made it look much bigger and I'm really glad that I went with it because I wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna do, but I was like, you know what, let's just go with white and just add some different colorful, you know, accents and stuff like that, but it looks really good. We did go back through and reinforce these rods and make sure everything is nice and sturdy and strong because I am going to be using like that top rack for like storage, like my blankets and things that I don't use very often. I'll put way up there, but everything is nice and sturdy so that I don't have to worry about it falling in the middle of the night. So now it's actually getting kind of late and I am very tired. I'm ready to go to bed, but I wanted to push through and get as much done as I could because I didn't want to spend a whole two days, you know, doing this closet. I wanted to maybe make it like a day and a half. So I'm just putting all our clothes back in there and trying to organize things. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with how much more space I feel like we have. Before, all of our clothes were really, really scrunched together but now they're more spread out and you can actually see what's in there. So this is the next day and I wanted to get an early start in the morning. To get everything done and right now I'm just starting on um, getting my husband's shoes and stuff organized there were so many shoes that he did not wear so I gave a lot of his stuff away and now I'm just putting his things in place but for me I am going to be using this bookcase that was in the closet before it's really dirty so I'm just cleaning it off but other than that it's fine I am thinking about getting another shelf for the middle so I could store a few more shoes and I'm not sure if this is going to be, you know, a permanent thing, but for now, so that I don't have to spend any more money, I'm just going to use what I already have. Since the bathroom doesn't have very much storage space, I thought that these shelves would be perfect to put, you know, the things that I would usually normally have in a bathroom. So I'm just going through these bins because some of this stuff is very old. I found a receipt from 2016. I just was like, what in the world? I really should have gone through this stuff <laughs> a long time ago, but I'm going through it now and I am going to be putting things in their place. And these little bins have turned out to be perfect for little miscellaneous stuff like safety pins and lint rollers and things like that. And also I wanted to store my purses somewhere. I don't have a lot of them, but I wanted to put them somewhere where if I want to change them, I could just do it very quickly. I also wanted to do something with this dated light. You know, I did not find anything that I really liked, so I was like, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it. So I spent, I think, like $5 on a new cover for it. I always have black paint, so I just went ahead and painted it and bought another string, and it actually turned out to be pretty cute without me having to spend a whole lot more money, and I just let it dry and change the cover. So I wanted to step the closet up a notch, so I got some of these lights from Lowe's, six for $35. They are battery operated and they come with a remote and all of the batteries that you need come with them. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I took my time and figured out exactly where I wanted to place them. And um, I really think that this is what really made the closet look even better because it takes it from being like really dark and like a cave almost and it just kind of lights it up a little bit. It almost makes it look like a store. I felt really fancy when I was putting them up. But anyway, I really liked the way that it came out and it was fun kind of playing with the remote. I just wanted to show you guys cutting it on and cutting it off. The kids love it. They thought that it was the neatest thing. But yeah, put some lights in your closet. Take it to the next level because it definitely did for this one. So this light I actually screwed to the wall and this one I just put like in a nook up there with some tape and now I'm just putting on the finishing touches and a new space means a new candle. So guys this is the before I mean it was a disaster and now look at it look at how much more functional it is look at how you can see everything and how bright and airy it feels as opposed to this right here where stuff is hanging out and all over the place and now I can look and see exactly what I need exactly what I want and I am just I mean just kind of speechless because I really never would have thought in a million years that our closet can look like this you know just with a little bit of time a little bit of effort I think I spent around $250 with everything, you know, with the closet kit, with the new rods and the paint and the lights. I spent around $250, but it was worth it. It was worth every penny because now we have a functioning closet and I don't feel like, oh, it's too small. I can't get new things. I mean, as you can see, there's still more space to hang up more clothes if I need. But this turned out 100 times better than I could have ever, ever imagined. There was even enough space to store our boots behind my cardigans and sweaters. And all of my husband's things are nice and organized. His ties, his suits, everything is just very easily accessible. But this wraps it up for this video, guys. I am so glad that you guys watched it. Um, I hope that this encouraged you guys to get those neglected parts of your home as well and make the most out of it. Remember, ingratitude is such a toxic thing but I hope that we can all overcome it together and that we can all learn to live contently. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.